Rain and wind created a layer of ice across the mountains. A beautiful winter scene for many people, but power problems for thousands more. Thousands lost electricity beginning early this morning. For many, it took most of the day to get it back. News 13's Frank Crock was live along airport road, a big trouble spot earlier in the day. What happened there, Frank? Well, something we take for granted, Larry. We're talking about traffic lights, a simple one. And even in this pea soup fog tonight, you can see they're working just fine. It was a traffic nightmare earlier. They got that mess fixed, but there's still so much more work to be done. Trees came down all across the mountains, like this big one in Henderson County. It blocked a side road below I-26, but not before taking out a utility line. My neighbor said between 6 and 8, the power went off, and I slept right through it. The combination of rain, wind, and more than a chill in the air provided winter decoration to trees and bushes, but also attached itself to power poles, power lines, and transformers. It almost looked like abstract art. Ice sculpture to be enjoyed, but for some, it's just a job. Everybody can, because it's hard work, we're not, we don't have any trouble. Jeff Brock and his crew traveled from the ice free upstate. They're here for the slow work, the scattered outages in and around Tuxedo. If you think about it, we worked for the whole job and, and we just got one person on. You know, one guy was on top of a hill, you know, been out since this morning. That's a lot of it, replacing single power lines taken down by a combination of wind and weight of ice. I saw what I thought was the transformer on fire, but it was the electrical line laying down. That's what knocked out Eileen Allison's power early this morning. And that's what this crew was trying to fix this afternoon. For workers, there's the enjoyment of a job well done. You know, it's always good to get somebody on. That's fun. For Eileen, there's hope. We still don't have any power. <laughs> Maybe a night without electricity again. We're happy to report for Eileen. It is good news. Her power is back on tonight, and that is the word for most folks across the mountains. Reporting live in Buncombe County, Frank Rocker, News 13.